Hello world, go to 10 here. Hey, today we're gonna be taking a closer look at this Super Mario Maker book that came with Super Mario Maker 1 for the Nintendo Wii U. Now we're doing this live. This book is a little rough for the wear as you can tell, but I this is my original book that I got way back when I bought this for the uh, Nintendo Wii U. And I think I bought, what I bought was the, um, the Super Mario Maker package for the Wii U. So this kind of came with the game. The game came with the Wii U. So yeah, let's go ahead and I figured what we would do is we would take a look at a few of these pages. And if it's something that's cool, we'll take a look at the rest of them. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, let's go ahead and open up the book. And on the first page, well, we've got nothing but a yellow blank page. And then we've got a scene from Super Mario. It looks like the first, the beginning of the game. When you first start out, you're running and you got the Goomba there and you get the, uh, the question mark block for the first coins and mushrooms. So this is page, well, technically page two of the Super Mario Maker book. Here's page three. <laughs> Looks like this song from Super Mario. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a little closer look here. Oh, that's where you jump and then maybe jump over the Goomba there and then be sure you get that, get that coin and then jump on that and jump over that guy. You got all this kind of stuff. So this looks like maybe a custom level that was made in Super Mario. This is the next page. Pretty cool stuff. I'm trying to see what this writing up here is. Kaji Kodo. 09. Oh, 913. And I do not read Japanese yet, but that looks like background music, BGM. So this is probably dun 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 that kind of song. I can't do all the notes, but you know how it goes. All right, so let's go on to the next page. This is a really cool book if you're a fan of Nintendo, if you're a fan of Super Mario at all. Look at this great big fold-out page here. This is a two-pager. Nintendo. I like it. Cool. Next page. Page. Six in the Super Mario Maker book. Cool stuff here. These are all the um, these are some of the icons that you you can use and work with in Mario Maker. Two cool. Page eight and page nine. Simply have Construction Mario running off with some pieces, it looks like. He's off to build something. And then here we go. Super Mario Brothers course design. Creation de nouveau. I don't know, I don't speak French very well. But here we go. The basics, les basis. <laughs> Somebody correct me here. All right, we got a little sketch down there. That's not by me, by the way. That's part of the book. Looks like we've got example one and some codes also that you can enter in to see these examples. Example two, so 1928 would be that one. Here's example two, 4102. We got a big piranha plant right there. Watch out for that guy. Got some more doodles. Example three is 3758. And example four, is 2453. So if you want to check any of that stuff out, I guess you can enter those codes into the game and take a closer look at those levels. These are the basics. Next page. I have a little illustration showing you how you can um, use a little pen with a Wii U and make your own levels. Next up, we've got some more examples. Example five. Well, look at Bowser. What's he got going on? Looks like he's standing on, on top of all kinds of stuff and throwing the fireballs way high. Look at Mario way down there. I'm trying to get close to the camera, but the tripod's in the way. 5011, if you want to check that one out. Look, some more doodles. Just some more ideas. I, I think what they're trying to show is, you know, if, if you doodle this stuff out on paper first, then transpose it into the game, it might work out a little bit better for you when it comes to designing levels. It reminds me of when I used to uh, build little games in, in different coding languages and I would map out the maps first. Like if I was making, a t say, a 2D role-playing game, I would have the maps all mapped out first. Or if it was a side-scroller, you know, you 
draw all the pieces out and then transpose them to the computer. Example two, 6391, if you wanna check that out. Is that example two? No, it's example six. Example seven, 7147. All kinds of music blocks. Beatles just jumping around. There's Bullet Bill, look out. Example eight. That's not example B, that's example eight. 8129. Lots of cloud blocks. Oh, it looks like a monster. Oh, it's a um, chain chomp. <laughs> it's a big chain chomp made out of cloud blocks. That's cool. So yeah, 8129, check that out. 7147, 6391. All right, let's go to the next page. There's something different on every page. This is really cool. There's, there's close to 100 pages in this book. Either he's climbing up to, uh, who knows, maybe a warp zone, or maybe he's climbing up to some uh, coin bonus area. There's some new Super Mario Brothers stuff going on. You better make it over that fireball, Mario. I don't know if he's gonna make it or not. I don't know, it's kind of close. Oh gosh, it's my favorite levels. The underwater levels. Look out for that cheap, cheap. But you get those coins. Yeah, go ahead and get those coins. Lots of cheap cheeps, small cheap cheeps, big cheap cheeps. What else we got? Some, some textures from the original Super Mario. <clears throat> oh, look at there. That's the fly spotter from uh, Mario Paint. Too cool. One of my favorite Mario games. Mario Paint. Uh oh. Game over. 17, page 17, let's go to page 18 and 19. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, look, somebody doodled a little castle over here for us. Isn't that cool? And what's this? Oh, kitty cat, get out of the way. Watch out, Mario. <laughs> That's cool. And we just have some random pixel art here from, uh, looks like the first Super Mario Brothers. There's the jump pad. I'm never good at those jump pads. You gotta time that right, or if you time it just like barely wrong, boink, you're off into the depths of whatever, just thrown off the map, it seems like. Too cool. That's page 20 and 21. We're making good time here, this isn't too bad. Course design, jumps, all right? So they're showing you here, hey, you can jump up there, bounce off of a dude to make it higher, you can put a dude on a uh, spiky block and bounce even higher, higher. Or you can use bullets, bullet bills, spraying off of those up to a very high platform. And if you want to check some of that stuff out, whoa, how are you going to make it way up there, Mario? Well, enter in code 01 1 to find out, apparently. Jumps. Next page. Awesome. Everything's flying around. What? Even the springy platform is flying around? Oh, that's gotta be dangerous. We got some more doodles in here, flying turtles. <laughs> Too cool. Oh, here we have all of the animations of Big Mario. Hey, that looks kind of like me when I'm running. Look at that, it's like he's slam dunking the ball. Squatting down, look at those mushrooms. What is up with that mushroom on the right? Go Mario, go! That looks like me when I'm excited. Yeah, cool. All right, this is the Mario Maker book from Nintendo. It came with Mario Maker 1. I got mine with my Nintendo Wii U. Course design, coins. Be sure you keep coins in mind when you put them in your courses. By the way, this is page 28 and 29 of the book. And we've got some examples here of how you can use coins. Remember, you can run over single space blocks like that. So if you're starting over there on that side, just run straight across those blocks and get all those coins, all right? If you wanna check this, uh, <laughs> look at that face. If you wanna check out the face level example, type in code 4008. Look at this one, there's another face made of coins, it looks like. Check out 9435 for that one. That challenging level to get those coins, 79.62. If you check any of those levels out, and, uh, and let me know what you think in the comments. If you do check any of these examples out in Mario Maker 1. Here we go, some more artwork. Looks like a little castle made out of 
bob -oms and goombas, spiky dudes. And there's the flagpole. Whoa! Lots of smiley guys. <laughs> Too cool. This scene. Whoa! Bowser! He's checking out Mario. He's got a wizard on his back. The wizard has tamed Bowser. And they're both hunting Mario. Mario's in trouble. All right, next page. What? High heel boots? <laughs> Get him, Mario. I like it. High heel boots with pipes. And then, uh, what's the body made out of there? <laughs> Wood tree texture. <laughs> nice. Well, shells, course design. Here's how you can use shells creatively in your carapaces, in your uh, course design. Example one. Okay, you, you got a turtle there. You, you stomp him, turn him into a shell, and then you kick him, and he'll knock that Goomba right on over. Example two, you kick the shell into a block, and it'll bust it up, or if it's a question mark block, you kick it into the uh, question mark block, and ba -ba -boom -ski, you get the bonus. Let's check out example three. You can kick that shell right down into that mess of blocks, and it'll zigzag around until it knocks them all out, clears the path for you. If you want to check out that example, check out 8743. <clears throat> it probably has all of those things in there for you. This is page 34 and 35. Example four when it comes to shells. So you got a shell up there, you kick that shell off, guess what? It's gonna collect those coins for you. Coins for you. It's this one here. Oh, if you get the P block, it'll make that shell, that, uh, that first block turn into a coin. And then you can get the rest of the coins. That's pretty cute. Example five. So you got the Goomba there. Goomba's up top. Turtle down there. Bust the turtle. Kick him. It's going to bounce off the uh, little trampoline thing. Hit off the wall and come back up and get those Goombas. That's pretty creative. Example seven. So you got some uh, plants over there. You got the turtle show there. You kick him and it'll... Go right on up and, oh, oh, you bounce off of it and you can bounce over the guys. There you go. So you kick it and then you do a bounce maneuver and you're out of there. Example six, type in 6498 to check these out. By the way, it looks like, and it's got a whole bunch of uh, coins there with a little maze and you probably use that turtle shell there to bust them all out. Check it out. That's what it should look like after you're done. Nice. Let's continue on. Uh-oh. What's he doing? That looks like trouble. There's a whole mess of coins waiting to be collected by Mario down here. How's he gonna get them all? Can he get them all? I think so. Here we got a scene set up <clears throat> with a couple of Bowsers and a uh, puppy dog drawn and a mushroom. I remember this. I, I think I remember. No, I don't remember this. There's, there's actually three Bowsers. What, what, what? Fireballs everywhere. Too cool. Next page. We have another high heel boot. Two high heel boots. Goombas in them both and a one-up mushroom there. Okay, I like it. Next page, we got a little scene set up. We have lots of Goombas, lots of turtles. Pow block. Go, Mario, go. Let's see what page are we on here. 44 and 45. Super Mario Brothers scene with Super Mario World graphics as well down below. So we go from Super Mario Brothers up here to the new and improved Super Mario World graphics down here. So this is Nintendo graphics, 8-bit up top. 16 bit down here. Want we'll to see another one? Here we go. Let's do this one. Super Mario Brothers 3, 6, 8 bit on top. And then 
new Super Mario Bros. Wii <laughs> from the Wii U graphics, which just look like completely Photoshopped graphics of the original. So we got the turtle shell up there, pixelated, and then we get the really clean looking turtle shell there. Yeah, they all correspond. That's really cool. Same thing over here. Fire flower, fire flower. Lakitu, Lakitu. That's the enemy I love, I hate to love. <laughs> Lakitu. Such a cool enemy. One of my favorite enemies from Mario, but man, if I don't like the spiky guys he throws at. I like you, buddy, but I don't like you. And there he is right here, of course, with his glasses. Of course, old goggles. His aviator goggles and his cloud. Oh, we're losing our camera. <laughs> Tripod almost fell over. That'll go in the bloopers. All right, so here we go. Let's go to the next page. We are on page 46. Here we have a scene here. Set up, okay, so you wanna jump and get that, then get that, nothing there, boing, and then all right, all right. Different types of blocks, different types of um, pedestals. Cool. Next page. <laughs> that is one long Goomba. <laughs> he stretched. This is example code 334. So if you want to check out this example, 334, we'll show you some different enemy types and how they move. In case you're curious as to how those enemies move exactly. There's some ideas. And if you go to 334, you can see it for yourself. Nice. Here's some more enemy movements. See how they go smooth. See how oh, look, there's that guy. Was that the mole? Was that the mole that throws the wrenches, right? I like those guys. Yeah, there's the mole when he jumps out and then he comes over. <laughs> there's little bob bomb guys. Cool. Enemy movement. Next page. Super Mario Maker. That's right, that's page. 54 and page 55. <laughs> There's Mario trying on his new shoes. We got the Hammer Brothers goofing off back there with a piranha plant in his backpack or something. I don't know. Everything's flying around. Oops. Oh, he's protected. Doink. The spiky block can't hurt him because he has his beetle helmet on. That fire flower is growing out of Lakitu's cloud. <laughs> There's all kinds of imaginative things that you can do in Super Mario Maker, apparently. You can have baby Bowser riding on top of Bowser. Or is that Lemmy Koopa? What is it? You can have Mario with a spiky helmet. You can have fire flowers just everywhere. Look at that pyramid of Goombas. You can shoot out mushrooms, shoot out Goombas. Get creative in Mario Maker for the Nintendo Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. This is Mario Maker 1, by the way. <clears throat> Here's another example. 2091. You can check out all these flying squids. 9481. We'll show you this one. That looks pretty cool. A lot of ice blocks and stars going into play here. It looks like he's, what's he probably doing? Singing karaoke? Is he dancing and singing on the stage with fire going on? <laughs> and the lights. Entertainer Mario, I dig it. Here's page 60, the big 6-0. And look at that scene they've got set up for you. You wanna see some big Koopas and small Koopas on treadmills and coming out of, three men coming out of pipes though. Code 4766 should do it for you. Looks like a lot of fun. Let's check this one out here. Whoa, two great big piranha plants shooting out fires. This looks like piranha plants on wheels, right? <laughs> it's got the turbo boost engaged. 3578 to check out that example. Nice. 
Let's see what else we got. Let's check out page 50, 62 and 63. Now this is the first time I've ever really walked through this book myself. So we're kind of doing this together. Well, we got a bunch of flying bob bombs. If you want to see those flying bob bombs in action, check out code 5783 or 2734, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll get you this scene. All these spiky guys and all these <laughs> bullet bill cannons. They're all over that guy. Imagine if that thing fell on you. Boy, you'd be in trouble. Looks like a, it reminds me of a mama spider with all the baby spiders on her back. <laughs> 2734 to check that one out. And look at that face. It looks like a jack-o'-lantern face. No, if you want to see that, check out 0087. That's cool. Next page. All right, on this page, we got some sketches. That's cool. Nice. See if we can make out what's going on here. Oh no, Mario, you've got a turtle shell on and a spiky helmet. Big Mario is spiky helmet. Cool. 